All right, working on my nephew or my cousin's kid, his truck. It's a 92. Got a Cummins 12 valve force, first gen. Somebody's done an NV45 swap on it already. It's really nice truck. Really nice. His mom picked it up in Idaho. But uh, we just put a new injector pump on. I changed the injector pump. Uh, we're changing the injectors too. They went to Pensacola Diesel out of Florida and got the parts for this thing. Went to Hungry Diesel to get a new lift pump, second gen uh, lift pump. And I'm putting new injectors in right now and I want to show you a cool tool that I made. Or I had I designed and my brother helped me build inject pour. Just a piece of pipe, about four and a half inches long. This is a 1.512 millimeter uh, lug nut and just a half inch, three inch, half inch bolt. And that, of course, and the washer. All you do is screw this on your injector, put the pipe on it, put the washer on it, pull it out, and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, what I'm going to do, screw this on the injector, just finger tight. You don't need to get uh, wrench it on there, just put it on there finger tight. Put it on as far as you can. Put your, this is a one inch inside diameter by four and a half inch. I had to cut about a five inch and cut about a half inch off that in. Stick that on there. Stick your washer on there. Stick your nut on there. Tighten it down with a three eighth wrench. A three eighth wrench, I'm just using it. 3 8 deep socket, 3 8 drive. Just start wrenching it down. You'll feel it popping loose. It's loose. Just pull the whole thing out. There you go. One injector out. Simple. <laughs> 